Well, hello there and happy Freedom Friday to all of my Cancers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading, Cancers. Let's get it. The energy has already been cleared. The energy has already been cleared, Cancers. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what your cards have to say, Cancers. Let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you all are having a happy holiday. Hopefully you all are bringing cheer to someone's lives. Um and um and just focusing on like the silver lining maybe you know focusing on the silver lining uh let's see what we have going on here let us see what we have going on here what's leading your deck of cards healing as a healer source wants somebody to get your healing 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 as a healer source wants you to heal yourself through these times here we also have the Ten of Swords. We also have the Six of Cups. We also have the Six of Swords. Here we have the Temptations and then also the Five of Pentacles. Yep. Ten of Swords. This is what you're healing from. This is what you're healing from. People that you've allowed to get close to you, you know, because in holidays can bring upon that kind of stuff. That's why I started out by like, you know, focusing on the highlights of your life. Maybe sitting there and kind of writing out some happy moments in your life, spending some time to protect yourself, getting some rest. Here we also have the Six of Cups, um, the Six of Swords, <clears throat> the Temptations card, and then also the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. All right. Um, hmm. So source wants you to have childlike faith moving on. It, it looks like there's a, um, there's a, there is a, I was about to say masculine and feminine energy. Don't worry necessarily about an age that somebody is healing from, right? And one is using someone's innocence, um, one is using someone's innocence to get to you, to kind of say so they're manipulating them to get to you because you're on the cusp of something happening, something big, like you stepping through that portal of wealth, like wealth of knowledge, wisdom, peace, patience, tenacity, career success, like something big is you're that close. You've been working hard, right? All I can tell you looking at your cards here is um, the enemy is busy. But source actually created the enemy. So source needs somebody to know the key to emotional wounding, because there are people who want to come into a finished product, right? They want to come into something big happening to your life. They feel like something, they're on the cusp of something. You'd be surprised at what people will betray you over. Just a small amount of money. People will betray you over something small. And I feel like source has been trying to tell somebody for the longest time. You've been betrayed by the energy before and somebody is just like, okay. There's several parts to this. Let me, um, let me, like I said, the leading card is this healing card here. <clears throat> leading card is the healing card and it's something having to do Remember when we're talking about the energy of money, it's not always what you're pouring out. It's also what you're saving people. Like if you're saving people money, like for instance, some people will, um, some people will date people because they need a place to stay. That's a person like a gold digger mentality. The goal G O A L is to stay with you because you have multiple rooms and they don't have to pour out, but they actually adding to your light bill, your water, your other expenses, right? So in their mind, I got to stay connected to cancer for what I can get. In your mind, you may just say, well, I mean, it's no big deal. You know, I got extra, I got spare room and I got extra food in the refrigerator. What's the extra $40, $50 on an electric bill going to do to hurt me? But really, it's still taking away from especially when they are still connected cancer to energies who are quite manipulative right 
um, someone's child could be involved in something. Um, it's like you're pouring, it's six of cups here. Source is saying gifts were passed down to you like this. I think sometimes people take their gifts of uh, creativity for granted. Like you create space for energies, right? So that's a co-creator in your universe. Like source is the creator, just like source created this, the devil, right? But source, so you're the co-creator. So if I got room in my house and I got family members who have shown me in the past that they have betrayed me, I can, I, you know, hey, I mean, that was that. They probably evolved. I got the space. What is it going to hurt me? It's energy, right? You're creating space for a Judas spirit and that type of energy. So you haven't given them, you haven't given, you haven't sent a strong enough message that your betrayal got you cut off from my emotions of caring that you feel left out and somehow you're going through. You don't know how long it took for me to heal from the betrayal but it was definitely eye-opening. So as I see somebody moving on from the depth of disappointment, it's still that part of the healing that somebody's doing. And so Source is saying you got all of these gifts and talents moving forward um, that were passed down to you. Here we have the four of, um, four of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Here we have the Four of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords, and then the um, Three of Pentacles here. Um, everything is lining up perfectly for you to walk into your vault door, right? And I feel like there's somebody that's somebody that you somehow are connected to, whether they don't know what they're being used for, because not everybody knows that they're being used, just so we're crystal clear. But I feel like somebody is on the dark side of the number eight. They either feel passive, they have either succumbed to passive and powerless behavior, or they are forceful, egotistical, and materialistic, right? I feel like some energies are still connected after you were already shown just kind of so the, the betrayal. And here's the six of swords twice, right? Two energies, you've already decided I'm moving on from those energies, but source doesn't want you to be blind, be blindsided. So your ancestors are saying, take off the blindfolds, take off the blindfolds. That's how somebody got betrayed the first, maybe several times or whatever. Get your rest. We got the two and four, two and four, six, and you see six, 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 right? Um, you got this going on here and then you see the devil card, right? Source is saying to you, so the moon is moving in from, for, is moving from, um, it's moving from Aries into Taurus, right? Taurus, this the Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. It's also the planet of enjoyment, relationships, cooperation, erotic love, sexual desire, beauty, romance, attraction, love, aesthetics, art, and music. It's a peacemaker planet, right? And two, two types of energies, two types of energies after all the hurt and pain that you've gone through still, like I said before, still betrayed you. And, um, you are still, when I say still healing, the, the pain may not have been as severe as it was like the, the, like to be jolted out of a trance, you know, it was like, oh my God, that's the frequency. Some people are on. Wow. You may have gone on. You may have, like I said before, your water sign, you may have done things to nurture yourself back to health and you may have moved on from the depth of disappointment four of pentacles but make no mistake about it <clears throat> people know that you are quite resourceful 
right? So six of cups and two of cups is eight, right? Eight is the number, the money exchange number. We have the five and three. This is also eight here, right? Source is saying to you, there's signs all over your reading of how close you are to opening up your vault door. So when people are smiling and grinning in your face because of, you know, they know how close you are. You've been very conservative. You've been working really hard. Everything is lining up for you financially. The thought of you not having money as a as the mother and the money sign of the zodiac cancer never crosses people's mind because one, your homebody, and you you are very resourceful. However, like you could be a person that works remotely or you, maybe you physically leave the house and then go to work and then come back in. So you don't spend a whole lot of money. You're not, you know, frivolous with it necessarily unless you're decorating your house or investing in something. It's like you always have money, you know, according to people. And so sources is saying just because you've learned how to flush out your own off of your own wounds and the two t two types of energies could be like i said it, this is connected to loved ones it's um hold on let me let me move beyond this i'll come back to that in just a second i'll come back to that in just a second just keep in mind that the leading card here was this healing card and source is saying to you cancers that you have, while you have moved on from some things, the devil is still in the details. The devil is still in the mix. People still have an agenda to get through that portal with you. It's two types of energies that have caused emotional wounding, you know, for you. And um, sources saying, be conservative with your time. Um, I would say, let me see. Eight of Swords, the Tower card, the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles. Here we have the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Here we have the Eight, the Eight of Swords. Definitely something is um if you overthink it, it will it will make you lose your mind. So Source doesn't want you, obviously doesn't want you to move, lose your mind. You're going through a tower moment, right? So tower moment, tower moment, tower moment. That tower moment is that awakening. It's connected to Mars. So Mars is that fighting spirit. My, Mars is that energy planet. It's that conflict. Whoever you are connected to, they are still battling their demons. And... Their demons are, is a way of thinking, how they think about things, how they talk, the energies that they're, the, the air that they give off, the, inner, the, the types of energies that they're around. Here we also have the seven of pentacles. And so sources saying four and seven is 11. When you get off the fence and you step through your portal and you stay laser focused on your purpose, um, cancer, You'll see that your harvest is all you've been planting seeds and your harvest is already here. Here we also have the ace of pentacles right here. And you'll also see when you get off the get off the fence, you'll still see that some people still feel resentful when it comes to money. When it comes to money, and they are really battling their demons. Here we also have the Queen of Cups here. And and they are not things are not going well for them at all. You are a very compassionate person, but source is saying, make sure you have enough compassion for yourself. Like drink of your own water of compassion, because as people are going through their tower moment, battling their demons, you have had to heal from a lot of betrayal. And you've had to deal with a lot of people dealing with battling their demons. And so source is saying, you have a lot of wisdom about people battling their demons and how people will know that money is coming in the mail or there's a, there's a, um, what I'm looking, what's the word I'm looking for? There is a circulation of wealth, but a lot of it is how you speak to yourself, like the positivity you put out into the universe. That's why we're talking about closing our cycles in love. Cause when I look at this right here, I'm looking at six, six, six. 
right? I'm looking at 10 of swords. You were never supposed to survive this. You're supposed to be somewhere crazed out of your mind in a straight jacket somewhere. And, <clears throat> and, uh, hmm. But not only are you surviving things, you're actually thriving. Not only are you, did you survive some things, you're actually thriving. So when you are moving forward, and Source is saying to you, when you move forward, as you are moving forward, away from the depth of disappointment, um, hmm. I feel like something is going to happen where you may have had to tell somebody, I told you so. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see if we can get some more information about all of this. Three of Swords, the Sun card, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and also the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Swords came out twice. Eight and eight is 16. One and six is seven. Um... Remember, 2023 is the year of seven, right? So where Source is making everything make sense. And that's when you see this Tower card. is like um, the Nine of Swords came out. You know, this is, this is nightmare energy. Like somebody could have been going through a nightmare. We got the Five of Swords because, again, some people think certain things are a game to kind of sort of play with people's time. Um but you operating in your light. And that's what Source is saying to you is that you really can't save people from their financial situation. It's a lot of energies that's going through that's that battling their demons. They said a whole lot of stuff negatively about you behind your back. They let other people say things about you, Cancer. And their energy, like I said before, you've been healing from all of these wounds right here. For however, Source got you away from a situation because it wasn't meant for you to survive. It was meant for you to be crazed out of your mind somewhere it was like something was happening in your personal and your professional life that you weren't supposed to survive and source is saying and this is you right here today not only did you survive you're thriving and this two of wands right here source is saying you have the whole world in front of you you're motivating people wherever it is you're going something you're doing you're motivating people here we also have the three of um, three of swords right here. You've decided to move on from depth of disappointment when it comes to certain when I say when it comes to certain things. Five and three is eight. Eight of swords came out three times. Three times four, uh, three times eight is twenty four. Two and four is six. Somebody is going through like I said before. Six of swords is a rite of passage. You have six 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 right here coming down here, and so source is saying to you. Then you had, um, it, and it, it just, it takes you right on back to all the stuff that you survived. You survived a lot of demonic energies that were de designed to take you out of here. And I'm talking about straight jacket, mental institution, hair all over your head, bugged out eyeballs. I mean, just <laughs> craziness, right? You'd be some, mm, 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 mm. Oh, cancers, 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 just this kind of stuff, you know, it, it's, it's actually sad when you think about how, how, you know, just a human race sometimes is just not compassionate towards people at all. You don't know what people are going through, but it looks like there is a, some energies that jump to some conclusions about you. So it's just saying, stay in your light, stay in your light, stay in your light, stay in your light. People jump to some conclusions about you, and now, you know, they cry heartbreak and deep disappointment, and things aren't working out right in their lives, and all kinds of stuff, and sources of saying, just stay locked in and laser focused. They, I'm going to tell you what I'm looking at here. Your car is cancer. It's energies. We got five and three. It's eight. Ace, nine, right? <clears throat> Um, then we have four and seven, 11. If you take the time to get off the fence, when they talk about like how you invested your time versus how other people invested their time and how now they want to stay connected to you, 
emotionally wounded. And that's how it comes back. Well, this isn't my money is not looking right. And things aren't working out for me financially. Thought I was was such and such and such and such because somebody just couldn't stay away from energies that, like I said, quite frankly, you may have told them, Hey, uh, look, you, you, your head and heart are at war with certain things and you need to leave certain energies alone. Like you need And now again, certain energies like, <sighs> so when you step through those pillars, the number 11 and source is saying, that's why source is saying, be conservative with your time. Don't even give it a whole lot of thought because again, This is where, this is where you, that's the reason why you moved on from a lot of things is you've forgiven a lot of people. Forgiveness does not mean that you forgot. You forgave a lot of people from things that were said about you, cancer, and you decided to move on from all of that. And a lot of people don't even know what it took for you to heal. They don't even, they don't even know what it took for you to heal and for you to be like this right here, have a sunny disposition. Things are working out well for you. You're having a tower moment, but the source is saying in that Continue staying focused, staying laser focused, staying laser focused. Um, here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Here we have the Hermit card. Here we also have the Six of Swords again. We have the Hierophant card. We have the Lover's card. We also have the Emperor card. There could be a um, Taurus. There could be an Aries. There could be a Gemini. There could be a Virgo. Somewhere you can have all these in your birth chart, but some people are going through a tower moment right now. Things are just not working out. And basically people were comparing you. You weren't good enough. You weren't this and that. People analyzing you, criticizing you, all kinds of stuff. Um, just all, you're getting all kinds of messages that's coming through. People who were trying to present themselves one kind of way. Like I said, they want to come in on a, whoever this is, want to come in on a finished product and jump to conclusions about you. There's the Six of Swords again. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. So Source is the one that's sending a lot of information across your path. Source is the one that's sending a lot of information across your path. Like I said before, you have the Eight of um, Pentacles here. You have the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, mm -hmm. You worked really, really hard to walk through those pillars when it comes to came to your wealth. There was a lot of people who, like I said before, who um, were kind of sort of leading this particular charge as far as you're concerned. They were they were getting a little, you know, how people get a little bit too excited. They get a little bit too excited talking negatively about people, you know, sitting around gossiping, saying all kinds of stuff. Oh, cancer's crazy. Cancer's this and that and so on and so forth. So it's just like, y'all keep right on talking. I got cancer over here healing people. So sources saying you don't even need you don't even have to overthink it. Here we have the seven of cups. Here we have the strength card. It could be a Leo involved. We also have the um, seven of cups, the five of coins. Here we also have the um, king of swords. Here we also have the six of swords, and then also the eight of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody was. Mm. Somebody was. Somebody was just a little bit too excited about. Wanting to see you cry or cause some kind of nightmare in your life. We have the Eight of Swords. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yep. So this is definitely a pivotal point in somebody's life. Definitely, definitely, definitely a pivotal point in your life. Because when you have this many energies that, like I said before, is a part of an organization. Some people definitely wanted to see some kind of harm brought to you. Definitely want to see some kind of harm brought to you. Like I said before, we have 666. We also have, let me see, 663. So this is six times four. So you're definitely going through a rebirth as it brings you back to the number six. You had... Um, Eight 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 um thirty two is definitely a um and again it brings us back to eleven. So this right here, 
This right here it comes back to six. This right here comes back to five. That's 11. Source is saying to you, again, there's that number 11. Get off the fence. Stop overthinking it and just stay in your light. Again, it brings you back here. It all returns back to where you put your energy because that's what you're giving life to, right? Where are you putting your energy? You know, um, I won't even bore somebody with all the stuff that people are saying because it really, really in the big scheme of things, I don't want to, cause I'm, cause I'm seeing Virgo up here. I don't know if somebody has Virgo somewhere in their birth chart. I don't even want you to overthink this. I don't want you to like to overanalyze this. Virgo is the, I analyze sign, right? The Hierophant card. This is the I use sign. Um, Aries. This is the I am sign. Um, uh, Gemini. I, I think sign. You, you can only imagine what the, the Leo, the I will sign. You can only imagine what people were thinking, what they were saying, all of this airs, all of these downloads were coming in through your mind about certain energies. And of course, like I said, I'm not going to add to it by telling you everything. I could tell you everything that people were saying, but you know what I'm saying? Like in the big scheme of things, cancer sources saying you're so close to opening up your vault door. Five and five is 10. You're so, and everything is lining up as far as your legacy is concerned. And what people are saying, it should actually really in the big scheme of things should be of zero concern to you for real, because they can't stop a block, whoever they are. They, they are sitting around somewhere. Money situation is not right. They're sitting around talking negatively about you, cancer. It's been an uphill battle for you. There's the number six again. It's been an uphill battle for you. Um, It, it <clears throat> and and if we add this to the number eleven six, then that would it would bring us back to the number eight again. You're dealing with energies who have either succumbed to passive and powerless behavior, or they are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. It's a good thing that you left all like this is all what somebody was healing from, and here you are on your throne. Here you are, King of Swords came out twice. Here you are on your throne, both in your personal and your professional life. So I don't even want to bore somebody with the foolishness that people are talking about when you're focusing on legacy wealth. Here you are focusing on legacy wealth and people are running around trying to tear people down. Just, just craziness. Three and seven is 10. Legacy it could be you and um, you and your spouse or you and your kids or you and... You know, people trying to tear into your legacy to some degree. Here we have eight and four. Really eight and five. Again, goes back to um, this right here. Be conservative with your time. You don't even have to overthink it. Source is sending you all the information for you. See, first, when we talk about income, first is incoming information. In this case right here, of what's being said about you behind your back. You don't have access to certain things. So it's coming down through your dreams. It's coming down through flickering lights. It's coming down through all kind of stuff, cancer. And if you sit there and overthink it, it'll cause you problems from the inside out because our water is flowing through our, you know, flowing through like a rivers and streams. It's like, it causes you emotionally, uh, just emotional damage. That would be giving energies way too much power. Our bodies are made up of such a large percentage of water. I do see somebody doing juice fast, drinking more water, maybe exercising, just doing things to, like I say, especially if you're sedentary, you know, just flushing all of that stuff out, just flushing it all out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The energy that people spend on trying to set people up and wanting to see people harmed and hurt. And it, it is like I said, it's just like when I look at the cars, the only word that's coming across my mind is gang stalking. That's what it is. All like people are just conjuring, talking stuff up. And as heartbreaking, as deeply disappointing it is, you've decided I'm moving on from those types of energy. I'm just moving on from them. You would think, like I said, in the beginning of your reading that people would be focusing on picking out the silver lining during the holidays, you know, just kind of thinking about, you know, where can I go volunteer? If I'm not having a great best time, where can I go volunteer? Let me pick up a phone. Let me call some of these homeless shelters or, 
other centers and, you know, stuff like that to go volunteer to make somebody change somebody else's life or help somebody else. That is not on with some people. That's not on some people's minds. That is not what's on some people's minds. Here we also have the three. Yep, yeah, that's what's on some people's mind. Heartbreaking, cause some people some heartbreaking deep playing games, all kinds of stuff. Sources telling you move on from some people. Move on from some people. We got the King of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups. And then we also have the um five of wands. Yep. Yeah. It's a whole lot of argument and fighting and stuff going on behind the scenes and sources saying, listen, I see you sitting down somewhere meditating and not seeing any of that. That's why, like I said, I'm not even going to add to it. Here we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. You have a lot of compassion. You're saying I have a lot of compassion for anybody who is just who earned the acts, earn the right to continue being in my universe. That's the only energies I have compassion for. I'm not giving I'm not in, in the energies that, like I said, you're volunteering, but the people who have had that you've allowed to get that close to your heart and they, this ruthless talking negative, standing around, letting other people talk negatively about you and you this close to opening up your vault door. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 You got the 10 of pentacles here and the 10 of pentacles here, and you're getting a lot of information that's coming in to you about a lot of, a lot of stuff that people don't even realize it. And so it's just telling telling you seven of swords here we also had a three of swords seven and three of swords is ten it just keeps coming out it's like that's what somebody's leaving behind here we have the king of cups and also yeah like i said you have a lot of um you know a lot of wisdom there and um like i said some people just see stuff as a game they see you trying to ruin people's life as a game so yeah Let's see what else we got going on here. And we're going to go ahead and close this out. Let's see what else we have going on. Let me see, just make sure I got, yeah. And we're going to go ahead and close this out, Cancers. We're going to go ahead and close this out. So don't overthink this because, again, you will emotionally evaporate yourself. And you're a water sign. Could you imagine you being a water sign and being um, your, your creativity being evaporated because of loved ones or people that you, like, you know, that you were once connected to in a part of your past or family and stuff? Like I said, whoever it is, here we have the three of um, here we have the three of spades. Here we have the king of spades, the queen of spades, the four of diamonds. We have the king of diamonds. That's what that's what it boils down to, and also the two of spades. This is somebody, somebody's loved ones. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Like I said, four and four is eight of pentacles that came out twice. So it's just saying double down on being conservative as far as what people are talking about. We also have the two and three of um two and three of spades. We also have the queen of spades and also the king of spades. Again, all of this overthinking. You don't even have to overthink this during the holiday. Source is the one that's downloading all information to you. So I suggest that you, like I said, I suggest you protect yourself during the holidays in terms of like protecting your mental health. Don't let it drive you crazy because this is the goal right here. Your legacy, like I said, if people can't get to other people to get to your legacy, they can't get to you directly. It looks like a large, a lot of money is coming across somebody's path. And people come out from the woodwork. Everybody looking with their hands uh, held out trying to get something from you. So, whew, wow. This reading was exhausting. Just looking at all this air that's coming out, like somebody's been talking about something. And a lot of, and like I said, this tower card right here, source is saying you're divinely protected, but there's a lot of conversation and a lot of thinking about you and people feeling like, okay, whether it's, whether they're talking to you or a spouse, because it's you and somebody that has some access to knowing what's going on in your life, right? So you even got to tell loved ones, hey, keep our stuff off social media. Be careful about what you're telling people. You know, if you got kids or you got a significant other who is telling their family, like some things you just gonna have to keep close to the cuff. Like if you feel like, okay, I don't want to get upset with the, somebody who's still connected to my universe. I'm just going not to tell them. I can't tell them. I'm going to just journal it. <laughs> You know, for real, just tell God, just thank God privately. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go hug a tree. Let me go swimming. Let me drink some water. Let me 
do a juice fast. I'm just going to tell God privately because if I, if, it's a shame. It's almost, and, I, and I'm not, I'm, this is not clickbait. I'm not saying somebody's going to hit the lottery. If you do, that's wonderful. But it's like somebody is coming up on so much money and so much. It would be better. Let me see. Okay, I was about to say it would be better if it, it, because you've been working so hard on your legacy. Even with that, the sad thing about when I'm looking at the cars here is even with all the hard work and the power and intellect that you've been pouring into some stuff, some, that's what I'm saying. You know, you hear people say more money, more problem. It doesn't have to be that way. Don't even speak that into existence because there is, you're just going to have to do a better job at, um, what you're, who and what you're saying things to. That's, that's all I can say. You're just going to have to do a better job because again, you all, a lot of energies are attracted to you. Cancer, you're going to have to be careful of who you tell stuff to because some people are just, mm. That's it. Tap into that creativity. I'm not even creating space for that negativity. I'm not going to overthink anything. No, none of it. Here we have one, one, one. I am creative. Angels are ready to fully support you, Cancer, in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. Mm -hmm. With the universe, a life that you love because all this overthinking will cut right into your money. And so it's like, I don't want you to cut into your money. It'll cut into your, um, your, your start feeling powerless. You'll start, like I said, your creativity, things that used to come to you clear, clear, like clear water will start being murky. I'm not really sure if it's this or if it's that, like you, you know, those kind of things. And again, source is the one that's downloading things into your spirit. This is where it's going to have to be a serious faith walk where somebody is saying, you know what? I'm getting away and I'm, not, I'm trying to, I'm trying to refrain from calling people demons, but somebody's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to get away from other people's demons, right? I can't let them irritate mine. That's what I'm saying for you. So the, the over, irritating yours is over giving thought to how could I, like your heart is in the right place, but somebody's going to end up giving themselves some kind of heart problems you know, thinking about like, that's why I said, just forgive people for real. Just like for real. If, if you can, I can't tell you to forgive, but if you can, if you can have it in your heart to forgive yourself first and foremost, it may take a minute to forgive other people, but in your heart, for, if you can find it in your heart to say, I forgive myself for being disobedient to source for taking so long to get the message when 999 messages came across my path to move on from certain types of energies, like stop thinking about them, stop praying for them, start, you know, um, engaging in conversations. I just needed to move on a long time ago. So remember time is relative. Some of you all have already gone through this. Some of somebody could be going through it and somebody could be about to go through it. It's relative. But all of it will be used as lessons moving forward. And when you think about it, it's like, okay, source, what lesson was I supposed to learn? It's all good because it's all source. What lesson was I supposed to learn in all of this? What was the lesson I was supposed to learn in all of that and all of this? So that you don't come across as bitter and just say family ain't ish for real. Because that's what I'm seeing here in the cars. Like somebody's just like, you know what? I can't even trust my own family. I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but... Source is saying, I can't trust somebody like they can't trust whatever organization, family they would belong to, can't trust their church family or mosque or temple family. Like somebody can't trust their blood relatives. It's just been so much hurt looking at the cards and all of it boiled down to this. And Source is saying, you know what? When it's time to start cutting people off, it won't. You, and some of you all have already started the cutoff process. That's why so many people are talking. That's why Source is saying for some of you all, none of it even matters. It's like, okay, they got themselves cut off from my universe before. But mm, definitely a lesson in all of this. Definitely a lesson in all of this. Where is the last card, Cancer? Last card, last card, last card. So, <clears throat> in somebody's, um, in somebody's, when I look at the card here, hold on for just a second. 
soulmate energy coming across your path is just what somebody needed for real. Like somebody just needed like, wow, you know, I really, really needed somebody to come along who was wise, who was com just as compassionate as you are. Um, someone who, like I said, a lot of gifts and talents that were definitely passed down to you, you know, um, and all of this. But sources said, don't go back to just the you know, the emotional wounding part, just like, you know what, whatever, whatever source needed to do to get me away from certain types of energies, just thank you from certain jobs, from certain, whatever, just thank you. Affirmations for creativity. I am a ball of creative energy, creative ideas circulate my very being. I tap into all aspects of my imagination. I command my inventive skills to step forward. I connect it to my truest self I am solution oriented. My gifts create room for me. I am grateful for my innate gifts. That's right. I'm grateful for my innate gifts. That is what I have for you, uh, Cancer. So I was trying to see if there was anything else before I put the cards away. Mm hmm. Some kind of partnership is coming across somebody's path that's going to put you in a leadership position here. Um, and it's the, the way that they're going to communicate it to, they're going to come to you and tell you something because you've already sent out messages to the universe of how you want something to come back. And like I said before, when people see big bucks coming your way or lots of money coming your way, they can all smell like they can smell it. Like they can just something about... You, you know what I'm talking about, Cancer? It's like the, with money, there comes this level of ease. You know, like something about you just kind of sort of has this kind of level of ease. Like you're not stressed about something. Like a person who, like I said before, circulates wealth. You already know whatever you've been putting out. You just something about your energy says, I already know something else is coming. So I'm going to keep myself in my purpose. In the, I'm in my purpose. I'm going to stand strong in my purpose. And I'm going to just keep on circulating wealth, wealth of knowledge, wealth of tenacity, wealth of whatever it is. I trust my inner wisdom to guide me. Mm -hmm. I trust my inner wisdom to guide me. But somebody is definitely stepping through. Um, see this one, one, one. These are two pillars right here. Somebody is definitely stepping into It's like we started out in the beginning. There was something that somebody was moving on from and um, some energies are definitely going through. A tower moment. Definitely, definitely, definitely going through a tower moment. And um, some energy should have just kept your name out of their mouth in a very negative way. People, uh, you know, jumping in, like jumping on the bandwagon. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Cancers. Like I said before, somebody has twin flame energy coming across your path if you don't already have, if that's what you desire. And also some kind of partnership in business. Something is going to make you very, very wealthy. And if you haven't had, oh, by the way, if you haven't had a chance to watch the Polarity series on Patreon, you can go check it out over there for those of you all who may have already seen it. A lot of temptations are coming your way. A lot of temptations to reconnect with people, you know, because maybe you're in a debt, maybe you feel like you're healed, you've moved on, you've forgiven some people, but sources saying, don't forget how there were some people who wanted you and, and, uh, in some kind of a mental institution, like don't forget those things because if the only reason why some people will be like, Oh my God, you know, thank you. You, you forgave me. Like you forgot, you forgave me is because they see some kind of, they see some kind of payday coming as a result of it. So anyway, that's what I have for you all cancers. I will see you all on, I will see you all on Sunday. Okay. Bye.